Vector Business uh, TV has entered a truck and we have been invited by NXP and I'm speaking with Jeff Lees, Vice President, Jeff, of the entire semiconductor business within NXP slash Freescale, is that correct? No, I'm, I'm a Senior Vice President of the Microcontroller and I.MX Microprocessor Groups. Okay, that is a, f a good extension. <laughs> Jeff, um, we have been very pleased to have your invitation from NXP and we, have, we were very excited, of course, to read and learn recently. You took over Freescale. Can you comment how you were involved in that takeover and that general uh, integration of the, uh, the companies. Yes, I, I'm an unusual case because I actually... We like unusual cases. Yeah, I actually uh, worked for NXP for 13 and a half years. Uh -huh. First fill up semiconductors mm -hmm. and then became NXP in 2006. Mm -hmm. And then I joined Freescale in 2011. Yeah. And now here we are 2015 in March. Yeah. We announced that we would merge both companies. Yes. And then we closed the merger in December. Uh -huh. So well, a very exciting time for us. We call it the new NXP. New NXP. N NXP. Yeah, new yeah. NXP. New, new NXP. NXP. What sort of aspects came from Freescale, basically, Jeff? Yeah, so, um, um, the two companies had relatively different um, skills, different uh, products and uh, mm -hmm. uh, competencies. Mm -hmm. So NXP has really developed a unique capability in security, in mobile payments, in identification, in uh, many, many vertical markets, uh, home automation, uh, wearables products. Uh, Freescale, on the other hand, has um, built a huge range of embedded processing technologies going from the cloud, our digital networking, network equipment processes, all the way through our i.mx, uh, multimedia, uh, automotive infotainment products, all the way to our Kinetis microcontrollers. Kinetis, uh, Jeff, I was just, we are looking at a screen from yes. Kinetis here, right here, by, by coincidence. Um, what will happen to the Kinetis platform, okay. essentially? So the Kinetis microcontrollers are all based on ARM 32-bit Cortex-M processor cores, as are the LPC microcontrollers of NXP. Mm -hmm. In fact, I started the LPC business whilst at NXP, and I joined the uh, Freescale Kinetis team just as they were coming to market in 2011. So I've actually had experience on both sides. So we have unique technologies in Kinetis, some unique low-power technologies in LPC, what we're going to do is continue both families because we have huge numbers of customers on both sides, but we're going to put the best together and in future roadmaps, in future technology, you'll see some of the best of both families coming together. Thank you. Jeff, um, you kind of advised us before we came here that you had like a major announcement to make to coincide with this embedded show. Yes. Is that correct? That's right. So we have a brand new microcontroller. It's called the LPC 5411X family. And it's really the, um, the latest in a series of ultra-low power Cortex and Micro... LP is all about low power, isn't That's it? That's right, yes. And the LPC 5411X has a two-core architecture. So we have Cortex M4, which is a new um, 80 microamps per megahertz low power level. But we also have uh, onboard uh, Cortex M0 Plus with even lower power. So you can divide the system between both resources and you can actually optimize the power levels whether you want to run the communication systems on the M0 or whether you want to run the high power processing on the M4. You can select whichever core is the best for each application. So the race for the micro amps and the nano amps in sleep mode and wake up mode is still very oh, much going very, on? Very much. And today's generation of processors are typically in the 90 nanometer range, yeah. and we're just on the eve of the 40 nanometer technologies. So our development engineers are working furiously on getting the best power from 40 nanometer technologies. Okay, Jeff, thanks for, for the announcement. We are welcome in the truck, and um, we do have, we're very curious to see actually what's inside the, the, the truck. It has been a major announcement in, in the news. The NXP truck is rolling into the embedded world. And um, let's have a look at some of the yeah. specialists, okay? Yeah, We're this is our Smarter World Tour. We have over 130 different applications here, all networked. And one of the things about this is that all live applications. So the challenges here in, in uh, interoperability in coexistence of different RF networks. We've been using this as a mobile test bench, not only for these demonstrations, but also customers who visit us in the truck mm -hmm. can actually bring in their products and try them for coexistence in our thread networks. Jeff, let, let me tell you, it has been a big success in terms of response. Yeah. Uh, engineers like trucks, 
and it's a, it's a very special truck. Yes. Shall we go and have a look around? Yes, let's do that.